Hello guys, so today I have in front of me on my table a uh, completed ATX to bench power supply transformation. Previously, 2-3 months ago, I've made a video about the separation of wires and I just kind of lost interest in converting this beast. So now that I've done it, I wanted to share my power supplies that I have with me and a new kind of power supply, not a new kind, just new for me that I have custom build that is sitting right here on my left side okay so yeah this is the ATX power supply uh, this is a supply on uh, power good USB connection power good connection this is the common 3.3 5 12 volt this is the AC input 220 volts on off and this is the fan pretty much common stuff that you see on YouTube okay so this is the switch mode power supply okay I keep it aside and this is my uh, transformer based LM317 supply it has 3 ampere 0.5 ampere transformers in there in this and I have uh, set set volt supply outputs in this AC outputs and uh, variable output I have fan control USB that I have there I have 0.5 ampere AC switch 0.3 ampere AC switch and set volt supply switch and I have on the back main switch fuse and to set on and off the AC supply 0.5 DC and USB supply 0.5 DC and uh, set volt supply 3 ampere uh, variable DC and 3 ampere AC supply and a fuse if I have not mentioned this is my go to power supply till now okay so what I have made custom build it is very heavy Opa. this monster it is a 50 volt 10 ampere uh, transformer that I have have custom built and it is 0 12 50 the beauty of this transformer is that I don't have to build a separate rail because I am running a high voltage uh, a high voltage circuit and I have to build a separate 12 volt rail for the driver circuit for the MOSFETs that I am going to do in if I make a Tesla coil for example that is I am building this is what uh, that's for so the reason i made this custom build is i live in india and every power supply bench power supply that is currently available in the market is imported and it's very expensive so for comparison uh, this beast cost me 3000 rupees okay so this beast cost me 3000 rupees and i have available I have very much uh, leeway available here and a basic power supply in India on Amazon if you go uh, that has its somewhat decent amperage and uh, uh, volt coverage is around 25 to 30 thousand rupees you can get a simple power supply for 5 six thousand rupees that has 12 volts and 1 ampere or 2 ampere but I needed uh, much more amperage so that is why I have this here so it is zero this wire is zero I have black thread on it uh, this thick wire is 12 and this wire is 50 so this is the common point and I have also have 2 ampere 12 volts separately uh, this uh, one of them is common and one of them is the 12 AC this is AC and I have also built a rectifier circuit for it which I am now considering puny okay so yeah that is what I had to share I still have to uh, attach the rectifying circuit to it I still have to buy the controller module for the power uh, from AliExpress it's, it's gonna come in weeks or months at time that it because it uh, from AliExpress it takes time okay so yeah
that is pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching if i have something else to share with you which you know after the making this beast i have maybe endless possibilities of what i'm gonna make because i have unlimited power i'm going to order a bug converter and a boost converter bug converter is gonna step down the voltage and the step down the voltage and the boost converter is gonna boost it to 110 so sky is the limit for me from now because this baby has come so thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time when i have something else to share bye so guys an additional video clip that i i've done building uh, the stage for this monster beast so what i've done till now is uh, all these wires are thick and i cannot uh, regularly bend them and they will break off at some point of time so i have drilled holes and uh, bolted them and if i need a connection i just unscrew this or this or this whatever i just unscrew these and they are really tight right now i don't know why i just unscrew these and place a wire here and screw this back on what i have done i have mounted wheels on these on four sides because this is not a flat surface but in the future this will be on a table so i have so it can be moved easily and this is the main input 220 input this is the 12 volt zero common and 50 this is uh, 0 12 2 ampere so yeah so, uh, this is the additional clip because i have finished building it and it looks pretty good and yeah uh, nothing else to add just we'll see what happens with this in the future